Hello students, hope you all are doing great. I'm Achal Chaudhary, working as an assistant professor, EBA department in St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management. So students, I'm back with my online lecture series of company accounts. So students, it's your lecture number four from unit four. In previous lecture, we have studied regarding the banking company accounts and also we have cleared all the various schedules which are covered under the banking company accounts today we are going to start a new topic that is related to insurance company accounts under which we will study about the its definition types of insurance and important terms related to the insurance which will which can be asked in your exam in your two marks or you can say in short type of questions so that's why we will cover all of these things in today's lecture so let's get started so students first of all let's understand about the insurance what is insurance basically insurance is a contract represented by a policy in which an individual or entity receives financial protection or reimbursement against losses from an insurance company basically students what happen ki a contingency hoti hai we are like we are not sure about any kind of event ki koi uncertainty hone wali hai ya nahi hone wali hai but for that uh, to meet that uncertainty what we do we just go for the insurance we are indulged in a contract so that if there is any kind of contingency or if there is any kind of uh, you can say uncertain event occur so that can be uh, reimbursed by the insurance company so what we do we uh, just pays the premium money to the insurance company and after that in return what insurer do they just uh, uh like uh, claim uh, they just clear all the claims regarding any kind of loss or they just meet all over the losses which are insured so basically what happens ki it's a legal agreement insurance is a basically a legal agreement between two parties the insurance company and the individual so in this what happen that one uh, person or you can say a company promises to make uh, like to cover all the losses for of the insured person of the individual if there is any kind of uh, mishappening occurs so basically it's a kind of a promise to make good the losses of the insured on happening of the insured contingency so here students there are two terms which you have to know that first is insurance company इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इज नॉन एज द इंश्योरर जो कंपनी आपको इंश्योरेंस प्रोवाइड कर रही है दैट इज योर इंश्योरर एंड जो भी आप पर्सन जो भी अपना इंश्योरेंस करा रहा है और किसी भी कंपनी का इंश्योरेंस करा रहा है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इंश्योर्ड ओके टाइप्स ऑफ इंश्योरेंस generally students there are only two types of insurance first is your life insurance and second is general insurance so basically as a word signifies themselves you must be having some sort of idea regarding both of these insurance that what all are included under these right so let's uh, let us understand in brief first is your life insurance life insurance means ki human life se related hoga right so life insurance is a contract that offers financial compensation in case of death or disability so basically what is insured here that compensation will be given in the case of death or the disability some life insurance policies even offer financial compensation after retirement or a certain period of time so there are some life insurance which are also which also compensate after the retirement or after a certain period of time but the main thing is that here we can go for the insurance in case of human life only here we will cover the human life only 
here we can't go for the insurance regarding the assets or any kind of uh, uh, like uh, tangible assets or any kind of thing so here what we have to do we have we can just insure the insure the human life here maybe that can be for a particular period of time maybe for 20 years 30 years there are many policies which are for the certain period of time that will help you to meet your uncertainties and there are many uh, like insurance which help you to gain your uh, like further higher education so there are a lot of insurance like this but that will be totally based on your life only if you are going for a life insurance that should be related to human being only right next is your journal insurance whatever is excluded from the life insurance that things will be covered under the general insurance means here in general insurance we can't insure the human being life okay a general insurance is a contract that offers financial compensation on any loss other than death so basically here what happens that you can't insure death here क्योंकि ये ह्यूमन लाइफ से रिलेटेड नहीं है सो so इसलिए यहाँ पर डेथ से कोई भी यहाँ पर मोटिव नहीं हो सकता डेथ का इट इंश्योर्स एवरीथिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम लाइफ एज आई टोल्ड यू हियर लाइफ इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड अपार्ट फ्रॉम लाइफ देन यू कैन इंश्योर एनीथिंग यू कैन इंश्योर एनी काइंड ऑफ योर कार मोटर व्हीकल और यू कैन से एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ एसेट्स लैंड बिल्डिंग Each and everything can be insured here. Students, we have discussed two type of insurance. Then these two type of insurance also further divided into many parts. Like life insurance is divided into whole life assurance, term assurance, annuity. These all are included under there. Then. Your general insurance is divided into fire insurance, marine insurance, miscellaneous, and miscellaneous is further divided into vehicle insurance, fidelity insurance, credit insurance, burglary insurance, loss of profit insurance, workmen's compensation, and professional liability insurance. So we will not discuss all of these because it's not mandatory. that uh, this will be like uh, it can be asked in your exam so we will cover only important types of insurance here which can be like asked in your exams and which are important from your exam point of view first is your whole life insurance whole life insurance means kya whole life means ki jo aapne jab se karaya hai insurance wo pure lifetime aapka insurance rahega right so it covers you for a lifetime your family will receive a certain amount of money after the death so basically students what happens here that you will not receive the amount your family will receive that amount of in, uh, that insurance amount just after your death that is your whole life insurance then there is a endowment policy or you can say term policy it's kind of a term policy so what happens that here the insurance is done for a particular time like for 20 years 30 years then after that completion of that term a lump sum amount will be paid to your family in case of your death and if in there you like you are alive then you will be paid some lump sum amount so that is your a uh, term plan or you can say term insurance and domain policy where you get the amount after the maturity of that particular period then next is your fire insurance fire insurance means kya ki kahi aag lag jaye kisi assets mein ya fir aapke building mein anything that is related to your fire insurance right so fire insurance covers the replacement reconstruction or repair expenses of the insured property as well as the surrounding structure basically it pays or compensates for the damages caused to your property or goods due to fire jab fire occur hogi 
then only you will get the amount of that insurance so here what happens that third party whatever the insurance uh, insured third party is there that third party will also receive the insurance benefit next is your health insurance health insurance means what that is some somewhere related to your health right so whenever uh, like you need medical care whenever you don't feel a feel good you feel ill then in that case you will receive the medical benefits so it usually covers the hospitalization expenses treatment of your like critical illness and all of your medical bills which are prior or post hospitalization so that will be covered under the health insurance and last is your motor insurance motor insurance means somewhere related to your vehicle right so here we cover all your like car bike whatever it is so that will be covered under your motor insurance it is a general insurance that cover financial protection to your vehicle from loss due to accidents damage theft fire or natural calamities basically it will include all of the uh, like you can say ki jitna bhi possible certainties hain so it covers all of them ki agar accident hua damage hua or if there is any kind of theft fire so all of these will be covered under here so here uh, one more thing students ki india me a vehicle or you can say motor insurance is compulsory you can't drive your vehicle without the motor insurance so we have covered the almost important things which can be asked in your exams so basically students ye chart to aapko just depict kar raha hai that kis type ki kitne insurance possibles hain theek hai otherwise we will we can discuss only important things हमने जो डिस्कस किया है दीज आर दी लाइक नॉर्मली आस्ड इंश्योरेंस टाइप्स जनरली यही इंश्योरेंस हमारे इंडिया में बहुत ज़्यादा ये कैन से कि पॉपुलर है एंड दीज कैन बी आस्ड इन योर एग्जाम्स दीज कैन बी रिलेटेड टू योर लाइक अपार्ट फ्रॉम एग्जाम इट इज आल्सो बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दीज जो भी हमने डिस्कस किया यू शुड हैव अ नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग इट so that's why i have covered all the important types of insurance so last topic of the day is important terms which are related to the insurance company first is your surrender value whenever the policy holder decides to discontinue the plan before the maturity age the life insurance company pays an amount to the policy holder that is your surrender value so students here note down one thing whenever you are going to discontinue your plan or discontinue uh, your policy then first thing what you have to do you have to make sure that whether that terms and condition includes the surrender value or not many times it happens that some of the insurance doesn't cover or doesn't give the surrender value in that situation how however the policies you have given like apne jitni bhi installments till now you have paid those installments so wo aapki end ho jayengi and you will not get some anything apart from that so all the life insurance policies doesn't cover the surrender value so it is mentioned clearly in your terms and condition of that plan so first thing what you have to do you have to just read out those terms and uh, conditions in detail so that you have a like brief idea that if you are going to discontinue in future then that will be your, your like loss or you will gain some kind of value like regarding the surrender value or not next is your life assured life assured means what कि किसकी लाइफ अश्योर हुई है हियर पॉलिसी होल्डर एंड लाइफ अश्योर पर्सन कैन बी डिफरेंट सो लाइफ अश्योर इज द इंश्योर्ड पर्सन बेसिकली हमारे पेरेंट्स हमारा इंश्योरेंस करा सकते हैं 
so here we will be the life assured person we will be the insured person and policy holder will be our parents so both of these can be different life assured is one of for whom the life insurance plan is purchased to cover the risk of uh, like there any kind of uncertainty or death so primarily what happens that here family me se koi bhi aapka insurance kara sakta hai but jiska insurance hua hai that person is your life assured person or you can say insured person next is insurance claims insurance claim is a formal request by a policy holder to an insurance company for coverage or compensation for a covered loss or policy event so whenever you are going to ask your claims you are asking for the like losses which has been incurred by you so that is your insurance claims whenever the insurance company pays you the a uh, loss amount they covers all of your loss amount that is your insurance claims next is your annuity annuity means something related to annual amount right so it refers to fixed annual payment made by lic to the annuity holder till his death and till he attains a specified age in consideration of a lump sum of money so basically what happens ki here you will get the annual payment you will get a annual amount lump sum that is related to the lump sum amount so that will receive you will receive annually until you die or you attain a some specified age which is mentioned in your plan so that is your annuity next is your interim bonus so students let me clear you one thing that all the bonuses are generally uh, given at the end of the year right so whenever uh, like uh, policy matures or death occurs of the policy holder in between the two successive bonus declaration date then in that case a interim bonus is paid like you are paying the bonus in between of the two successive bonus declaration so that is your interim bonus next is your cash bonus cash bonus is generally given at the end of the year end of the financial year and this bonus is payable on the yearly basis rather than the maturity and last is your reinsurance reinsurance means ki you are doing something again and again like you are doing twice or thrice right so reinsurance occurs when multiple insurance company share risk by purchasing insurance policies from another insurer to limit their own total loss in case of disaster so whenever a person purchase your life insurance or you can say any kind sorry not life insurance whenever a person purchases your insurance policy from uh, that is purchased from another insurance insurer and that will be further like uh, uh, insure uh, purchased by another person so it's kind of a chain ki person yahan par insured person b tha then after that what happens that c asked for the uh, that insurance policy that c person purchased that insurance policy then it is further sold to person d so this is how insurance reinsurance works so i am just going to share some journal entries which i have already given to you in your pdf so first is that uh, uh, whenever you are having some kind of outstanding premium and that is brought into your account so the journal entry will be outstanding premium account debit to premium account and when you uh, receive the advance premium then premium account debit to premium received in advance in case of bonus and reduction of premium then bonus and reduction of premium account debit to premium account 
and in case of outstanding claims so here claims will be debited to outstanding claims and claims covered under the reinsurance other insurance company account debit jisne bhi aapka in reinsurance ko dobara purchase kiya hai that will be covered here debited to claims account in last is your when interest outstanding or uh, occurred so accrued or outstanding interest account debit to interest account so students that's it for today's lecture and here we have covered all the theory portion of the unit 4 so here are two questions which are related to today's topic and uh, here uh, these questions can be asked to, to you in your like short type of questions or maybe in long type of questions so both questions i have mentioned here first is what do you understand by reinsurance basically it's a simple term which we have already discussed earlier and it was asked in your short type of questions in your previous year exams second question is explain in detail insurance company accounts so students you have to solve both of these questions and if you have any sort of doubt in today's topic then do let me know and you can ask your queries over the whatsapp or anything you like so just do let me know beforehand so that i can arrange a doubt session for you thank you so much for your time stay tuned for more videos